my friends. My name is Michael James Meddy, and I'm here with my daughter. Trinity! And Trinity is always so much fun. Uh, <laughs> this, is our, uh, this is our series, Why Does It Matter, <laughs> where we talk about why it matters to go to Mass. And uh, <laughs> she just can't even get a sentence out. She's so happy, so happy to share about the first reading. It's from the book of Jeremiah. Uh, <laughs> Jeremiah has such amazing Bible quotes. Jeremiah is your favorite. Okay, so tell us what, what the first reading uh, talks about the Sunday at Mass. Uh, in the first reading from Jeremiah, it talks about having faith in God and putting our trust in God. And it uses this metaphor of are you a tumbleweed or are you a tree? And are you a tumbleweed with no water and no food source? And you're are you like a bush out in the desert mm -hmm. that, that has that just is, you know, if it's a rain, it gets water. If there's no rain, then it dies. Or are you a tree planted next to a river? And even in the hottest of seasons, its roots still have the water so that it can survive and thrive. And I love, um, I have a friend, uh, Greg, who uses this metaphor of a deep spiritual well to draw from. That we have to, we have to, um, like when we pray, it's like we're dr drilling our well so we can have that water, that source of life, uh, a relationship with Jesus to draw from. That, that's our spiritual power. And um, so Jeremiah uses a similar analogy when he says, this tree is like being next to a stream that's always gonna give us water, give it water. In the hot days when there's, when there's no rain, it still can draw water. And uh, when, it's, when it's rainy, uh, it, it still has water from the stream. And I think that that's um, one of the reasons why I love being Catholic is that we have this liturgical tradition that trains us and reminds us to pray regularly, to pray no matter how we feel. Um, it can be easy sometimes to pray, thank you, Jesus, for the good times, but it can be harder to pray even during the tough times. Um, and, but the thing that I found in my life is that it's during the tough times, that's when God is, uh, is challenging you and changing you on the inside. He's calling you to deeper love, to deeper conversion, to deeper trust in Him, that, um, that God doesn't instantly, you know, like wave his God wand and make you patient. You know, <laughs> uh, if, if you like God, many people say, you know, I wish I was more patient, man. I wish I was more patient. Well, guess what? God's going to give you opportunities to be patient. He doesn't just like say, bam, you are patient now. <laughs> um, and so we can always <laughs> look for those opportunities to trust and to grow in that. And so if you're suffering right now, if there's, if there's tough times at school or at home or with your family or, you know, whatever, um, use those. God is giving you these opportunities to show your trust, to show where your hope lies, where your treasure is. Um, and so uh, use those opportunities to grow closer to him. And so this reading reminds us to put our faith and our hope and our trust in God. Let him take the reins. He'll take care of it. Let go and let God, right? Exactly. Very good. Well, make sure you go to Mass this Sunday. Go to Mass. Go with God. <laughs>